Recording now. Hello everyone, Harrison Kratz here for Engage TV, live from the Mashable Connect conference. And it's actually lucky that I'm standing here with Tumblr founder and CEO, David Karp. And it's kind of ironic since we run Engage TV through Tumblr, so I think that's pretty perfect. So David, thank you very much for joining me today. You're great. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, so just tell me a little bit about the, what was the inspiration behind creating Tumblr, just a very uh, customizable micro blog? Oh, it came after I used all the tools, everything from like, you know, Flickr and Twitter to blog. Uh, WordPress and movable type, all of the big blogging platforms. Just none of them did what I really wanted, which was a place to share all of the neat things that I was working on, all of the you know, funny things that I was finding across the web, the stuff that I really cared about. Yeah, and um, that was where Tumblr really came from. It was something I've been knocking around for a couple of years. It was a style of blogging that was just starting to sort of happen on the web, but it was really limited to these hackers who could build the tools themselves. And um, when we started putting Tumblr together, it was really something uh, for those people that we thought the existing Tools to serve. Yeah. So you talked about this a little bit yeah. in, uh, in your speaking yeah. session. What have been some great ways that brands have used Tumblr uh, so far? Because it's been a very big personal blogging, but now I know brands are just trying to get into awesome. awesome. So the first thing um, I, I always like to say is that um, we never really imagined how brands would use Tumblr, and we still don't really have a clear vision for that. Um, but a lot of these really clever brands or you know people at these companies uh, have found these really neat ways to use these tools that were really designed for people, right? They were designed for individuals, and yet they show up with their brand and kind of enter into the community or kind of play it in the network in a way that is really great and positive for the rest of our community, the rest of these people who are blogging on Tumblr. And one of the ways that I thought worked really, really well, just one example, because there have been so many different use cases like this, and again, we didn't invent, but these clever people figured out. One that I really liked was um, when a, blog, or a brand comes in and sort of applies their brand as sort of vindication or like an extra little stamp of awesomeness on people who are already doing really great creative stuff on Tumblr. So as an example, I'll be traveling, I'll post a photo of myself, I happen to be wearing an outfit I'm sort of proud of, I, you know, I'm wearing a tie or a jacket. feel good about it. Yep. And then Vogue will come along and uh, reblog, or sorry, excuse me, like or reblog that post. And now all of a sudden, underneath my post, it says, Vogue liked your photo. Right, so underneath my photo, there's the Vogue icon saying, Vogue liked this. I'll take a screenshot of that. I'll post that and say, like, holy shit, Vogue liked like, yeah. That's a brand I might not, you know, might not have read Vogue. I might have really cared about Vogue. Definitely but a lot of influence, so. All of a sudden now, like, all I can think about is, like, oh my god, Vogue likes me. I have this deep attachment to this brand. Everybody who follows me goes, oh shit, like, Vogue liked David. That's really pretty freaking cool. They, they now suddenly think Vogue's kind of neat. And the Vogue brand happens to be out there in front of all of my followers, right? And all they did was sign up for Tumblr, make kind of a neat blog, post some, you know, cool, thoughtful, original stuff to it. And then they started going through the site and pulling other neat bits that they found in the community from people who they thought were, you know, in keeping with what they, they care about. Um, so that's you know one of many examples that we've seen. Um, and again, you know th these are things that these guys are figuring out. We, we've, we've got no idea what the right way to do this is. Yeah. So, so thank you very much for no, joining me again. Uh, safe flight back to your head thank back you. New York, yes, right? Yes, I am. All right, awesome. Maybe we'll run right into each other sometime uh, soon. And um, these you. guys have about, what, eight, 18 million? 18 million blogs, 18 million yeah. Million and, blogs, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, 18 million Blair. blogs oh, okay. drive about 80 million people each month, which are generating the number that like really blows our minds is uh, six and a half billion impressions every month. Wow, and that, that's the number that's climbing especially fast. So All right, it's fun well, to good say. luck with the thank growth. You. All right, thanks, David. All right, thank you, thank you everybody. So, Take hey, care. Are you totally exhausted? Good, sorry. Thank you.